Hi guys, West Country Explorer here. Uh, for this video, what I'm doing is I'm going to be spending the next few days walking the Kennetenhaven Canal from Reading to Bath, Bristol area. So I've done the walk a couple of times before, got as far as Bath, and this time I'm hoping to get as far as Bristol. So see how I get on. And at the moment, I'm in Reading at the local spoons. Due to train delays, I've got here an hour later than I was expecting to be, so I'm really hungry now, so I've just come here to get a bit of food, and then I'm going to crack on, make a bit of a start. I mean, it's about half four in the evening, uh, afternoon now, so I'm not going to get too far today on the board, but yeah, I'm starting today, and um, spending until Friday just walking the Kennet and Avon Canal. So guys, hope you enjoy, look forward to seeing you after the intro. So I'm just walking through a bit of Reading Town Centre. Well, I suppose it's a city actually, city centre. So this is a let's get through the pedestrianised area. I've got to try and remember how to get down to the KA Canal. So I just thought to do a bit of recording through the city centre. It's um don't know much about Reading, not somewhere I've really been to a lot. The little bits I have seen, I can't say I'm overly impressed, but like I said, I haven't seen much, so not enough to form a proper opinion. Anyway, it's just a little snapshot of Reading. Right, here we are, guys, down by the River Kennet. This is a bit of a built up area. Got lots of eateries and the cinema and all the rest. Yeah, so uh, there you go. Part of the River Kennet running through Reading. Right, we're only a very short distance from where the cinema and all the eateries are in Reading. It's pretty much literally on the other side of that bridge that you can see there. And already, if you twizzle around, you can see a different vibe. I've got some apartments here. Bridge just up there carrying the main road. And once I get past that, I'm starting to get a bit more out into the countryside. So, uh, the Kennet and Avon Canal gets his name from the fact that it connects the River Kennet to the River Avon. Now, the canal section itself, the actual physical canal, is about 57 miles, something like that. But when people talk about the Kennet and Avon Canal, they can commonly include the... Ooh, hello. He just whizzed by. They, they commonly sort of include in sections of the River Kennet and the sections of the River Avon as well. When they're talking about the canal, you know, so they include the stretch of the two rivers. So, and that gives us a grand total of about 90 odd miles. Uh, the River Kennet starts here in Reading, connects up to the River Thames. Uh, if I wanted to be pedantic, I'd have started my walk there, but I didn't. And it officially finishes at Bristol Floating Harbour area. So if you want to walk the whole lot, that's what you should do. Sort of start at the where the Kennet meets the Thames and finish at the finish at the Bristol Floating Harbour. Or you can do it the other way round if you want, start at Bristol Floating Harbour and the start at the harbour and finish at the River Thames. But one thing I would say is it's much better to start in Reading. Because if you start in Reading, the first half of the journey is a bit boring, and the second bit of the walk, second half roughly, is a lot more interesting. 
So if you're gonna do the walk, I'd say better to finish on the interesting bit. I bet all these properties along here must cost a fair few bob back and onto the riverside like this. Quite a few of the ones just down there to the left had really long gardens which would probably add even a few more bob onto the property price. I mean a property like one of those that backs onto the river like they do, kind of property I'd like to own but <laughs> I'm not sure I'd like to pay the price tag that comes with it. Like I said, I can imagine they cost a fair few bob. Nice back garden, that adds to the price tag. And backing onto the riverfront, like they do, that's gonna add even more pennies onto the price tag. But I bet they must be amazing places to live in. Imagine being able to come out into your back garden on a nice sunny day like today, and have a nice bit of dinner just down by the riverfront, without leaving your own back garden. Amazing. Hello old sign, long time no see. So I've walked the Kent and Avon Canal a couple of times, cycled the whole distance once. I've seen this sign a few times. Yeah, good old Bristol and Newbury. I've been plodding along, doing a bit of recording and all the rest for roughly 45 minutes now and as you can see guys I'm now sort of out of Reading, out of the suburbs of Reading and a bit more into the countryside. So it's um, coming up to about six o'clock and even though I haven't been walking long I'm gonna stop as soon as I can find a nice place to stop. But as I'm walking along, just before I do find somewhere to stop, I want to talk a little bit more about the Kennet and Avon. It took the course of the, the route I'm taking, the Kennet and Avon, goes through places like Newbury, Pusey, goes through like Devizes, Hungerford, um, Trowbridge, Bradford on Avon, places like that, and obviously, like, past a few little villages and all the rest, gets into Bath uh, and eventually into Bristol. Uh, as I said earlier, I've walked this route a couple of times before, both times I've got as far as Bath and stopped. But this time, hopefully, all being well, I'll push on into Bristol. If not, not to worry, as long as I get to Bath. But between Bath and Bristol, I'm not planning to follow the River Avon. What I'm planning to do is walk along the cycle route, because there's a cycle path stroke footpath between Bath and Bristol that follows the course of the old Somerset and Dorset railway line. It's a cycle route that I've cycled along a couple of times in the path, past. I haven't been along there in quite a while, so. But this time my plan is get the bath, walk along there into Bristol, and finish the journey at Bristol. So that's the plan at the moment. Good old M4 motorway up there. The 
canals going under it. Well, not the canal itself, this is still the river, can it? And I've got the joys of walking underneath the motorway. I finally stopped for the night. Not sure how many miles I've done so far, but I'm near Phil, not too far from Phil. And this is going to be my view for the evening. I'm going to camp out in this area. So the sort of river Kennet's just over there. Well, this is such a warm night, such a warm day. I don't think I'm going to bother with it. I think I'll just get my sleeping bag out. Uh, just over in that direction, I expect you can probably hear the rumbles of the vehicles in the background. The good old M4, yeah, I'm near the M4. But I well, say so this makes up for it. If I'll bring you down here, guys. Yeah. Oh. Uh, just look at how clear that water is. Nice and clear. There you go, guys. This is where I'm going to be camping out tonight. Oh, here we are on a nice sunny Monday morning. It's about nine o'clock now. I've been on the go for uh, about an hour or so, roughly. Oh, I slept pretty well last night. Didn't bother putting the tent up. Just rolled out my sleeping bag and just slept in that. No bother with the tent. So didn't have to spend time putting it up and taking it down the tent, so yeah. But yeah, slowly making my way to Pewsey. Should hopefully be there about lunchtime-ish, get a bit of lunch in Pewsey. Here we are down at Aldermaston. I think that's how you pronounce it. Down by the wharf area. And just in there is a little tea rooms. Open Wednesday to Sunday, closed on the Monday, Tuesday. Ah. A little info board here. And some properties that probably cost an absolute fortune. There you go, this is Alderman. Oh, look, there, hang on. Oh, there you go. Bridge is going up there. Canal coming through. A barge coming through, I mean, not a canal coming. <laughs> barge coming through underneath the bridge. Well, if I zoom in a bit. There you go, guys. Right, now this is where I'm going to do a little bit of cheating. I'm going to get a train from Aldermaston into Newbury. So and then what are the, now I know I'm supposed to be walking, aren't I? This is a walking holiday. But I thought, get the train into Newbury. Just, it's only, what, a few miles that I'm cutting out, less than 10. So I'm going to do that, get into Newbury. And there's a Weatherspoons there, so I'm going to grab a Weatherspoons mill charge my phones up a bit and have a little bit of a look around Newbury and just do a bit of recording there if there's anything worth recording I don't know I don't really know much about Newbury so anyway guys yeah I'm cheating a bit right, there you go guys I've just finished having a bit of food in the local spoons uh, one little criticism I've got against spoons is the fact that they run their breakfast menu till half eleven so I think it should stop her a lot sooner than that. So probably about half ten, something like that. So anyway, I've had a large breakfast, pint, pint of plum porter, and a couple of coffees. So that's me set up for a little while. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is just show you around a little bit of Reading. Right, so this is a bit of a pedestrianised area here. Um, 
Right, there's the spoons where I've just had bracky. Like I said, the only time I've ever been to Newbury is a couple of times in the past when I've been walking along the Caitlin and Avon and I've stopped there for a, like, a bit of food and stuff like that. So I don't know much about the town. It's not too bad looking in the place. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some kind of a market here on a weekly basis. I can just imagine there being loads of market stalls here. Oh. That's there you go, that's just a little bit of redding. Now the second I stopped filming on my last little bit of video, I suddenly realised, hang on a minute, I was saying Reading throughout the whole clip, and I'm not in Reading, I'm in Newbury. So, <laughs> yeah guys, sorry about that. I'm in Newbury, not Reading. <laughs> I don't know why I had Reading on the mind. Probably because that's the start of the Kent and Avon. Right, here we are on the bridge over the K&A. That's the direction I'm going to be going in in a minute. So back that way towards Reading and all the rest. And a bit of a shopping street down here, so I'm just gonna pop to a few shops and then carry on my walk. Well, that's me now done in Newbury. And I'll make my way down to the canal again and keep plodding along. Where is it? Here we go. Uh, here we go. And about 10 miles time along the canal. We've got Hungerford, so I'm gonna aim to hit that by mid-afternoon. Swans. Yeah. As I said, aiming to hit Hungerford about mid afternoon, about three hours' time, roughly, something like that. And I'm hoping to get to the Great Bedouin area at the end of the day. Because when I last walked here a couple of years ago, I spent a night in some woods at Great Bedouin, so I'm going to aim to get to those same woods for the end of tonight and camp out there again tonight. I should easily be able to do that. 